We do have some pretty hot weather to talk about, unfortunately, yeah. over the next several days. So definitely going to be something you're going to want to pay attention to, especially as we head into Wednesday mm -hmm. and Thursday and even into Friday as well. So it's just the heat's just going to last. So we will have some clouds today. That's going to help break us from the heat just a little bit, at least for the next 24 hours. However, that heat really will start to build in for us heading into tomorrow afternoon and Wednesday afternoon in particular. And that humidity will start to increase as well, giving us some pretty high heat index values or what it's going to feel like outside. And unfortunately, we have some pretty limited rain chances as well because there is a very large area of high pressure that's going to be building in to the desert southwest, really making it kind of almost unbearable for us, I hate to say it, over the next several days. But we do have a very beautiful sunrise happening right now in our central Topeka camera. We have a very mild start to the day as well. Temperatures in the capital city are at 70, de 70 degrees right now. Our dew point is at 67 degrees. So that means it's just a little bit humid outside. It's not too bad and it's not going to be that bad heading on into the afternoon today. Temperatures though in the mid to upper 60s this morning, even some low 70s still, 70 in Topeka. We're at 74 in Manhattan, 74 in Concordia as well this morning. So a pretty great start to the day out there but it's going to get even hotter because of that high pressure system. We also have to talk about Tropical Storm Barry that's starting to weaken and disintegrate as we head throughout the next couple of days, but that is going to give us some cloud cover as we head into the afternoon today, keeping us just a degree or two cooler than what we could be right now. And this is that big area of high pressure that I was talking about. That's going to limit our rain chances over the next several days and really keep us stuck in this pattern of heat and humidity over pretty much I'd say into the first part of next week. So taking a look at our future track right now, we're at 8 a.m. this morning. We can see a little bit of cloud cover starting to work into our southeastern counties. That really starts to push in heading into the afternoon. This is trying to squeeze out a couple isolated showers, but I don't think there's enough energy for that to actually happen. We can expect some of these clouds though to hang around throughout the afternoon into the overnight hours and especially into the morning on Tuesday. This is at 7 a.m. You can see those clouds sticking around for a little bit, but moving on off to the east for the afternoon, leaving us with mostly sunny skies and hot weather, unfortunately. So taking a look at our heat index right now for this morning, we're in the low 70s, so you can't feel it yet, but as we head into the afternoon, It'll start to pick up just a little bit for us, making it feel just a little bit warmer out there today. But it, you're really going to notice it tomorrow when it feels like in the mid to upper 90s. And Wednesday especially will be a scorcher out there with our heat index values in the 105 to 110 degree range. So definitely a hot day out there and temperatures are only going to get even hotter from here. We'll be in the upper 90s on Wednesday and we may even have our first 100 degree days coming up for Thursday and Friday. Now, like I said, that humidity is not going anywhere because of that high pressure system. So we will be watching for possibly some heat related headlines coming from the National Weather Service oh, later yeah. on this week. Yeah. Pro probably some heat advisories mm -hmm. and if it lasts long enough, probably some excessive heat warnings Absolutely. as well. So stay safe out there, maybe head to the pool or the the lake. Very good ideas. <laughs> Definitely some shade. Get oh, yeah. Okay.